Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper at radiopreppers.com. Today we're going to talk about uh, digital modes for prepping. Uh, Julian from uh, Survival Tech Nord suggests that I get the uh, ZLP uh, Mini Pro SD, yeah, uh, Mini Pro SD uh, interface. So this goes between your radio and your computer. Now, digital modes can be uh, great for prepping. Uh, actually, there was that uh, story about the uh, bounty, the, the ship, uh, which uh, sank during a storm and uh, the only way the crew could get the message out was using uh, Winlink, which is uh, sending uh, email by radio. And that actually saved uh, the lives of uh, most of the crew. Um, so sometimes uh, nothing else will work than uh, HF radio and uh, digital modes can be a great asset for uh, calling for help or connecting to uh, outside of your disaster, uh, disaster area. Now uh, there is one digital mode though that uh, I think is much better than uh, any other in that regard and that's CW, Morse code. Yeah, it's a digital mode except that the computer is here along with the software so you don't need to carry a computer you don't need to charge a laptop you just have you know the software is here so you can use very tiny uh, portable radios now of course not everybody knows Morse code uh, although I think that not learning it uh, especially uh, you know uh, with someone with a proper mindset is a grave uh, mistake uh, it's it's uh, extremely efficient. It's simple. It's uh, it's elegant. Uh, it works. So, but I'm closing the parentheses here. And uh, uh, so now I have the uh, ZLP uh, Mini Pro SD. Uh, only two connections in the back, one for the USB cable and the other one for uh, the radio. I got a cable for my KX2 which is the same uh, for the KX3 actually with a connector for the uh, interface and microphone and uh, earphone jacks for the uh, KX2 uh, this I don't particularly like uh, it's bulky it's I don't know they could have done better with this but I'm sure it's going to work just fine I also had ordered a cable for my, uh, an open-ended cable for my uh, RT320, but uh, they forgot to put it in the box. So, ZLP, you're getting an email. Anyway, uh, digital modes for prepping. Uh, um, I don't think uh, it should be your first option. Like I said, uh, Morse code should be your first option. Uh, well, Morse code voice, you know, because it's simpler, you don't need a computer, you don't need to pack a computer with you. You don't have to worry about charging your uh, laptop batteries. Of course, today we have uh, phones and tablets, and uh, there are applications on Android which allow you to uh, use some digital modes. Um, unfortunately, there is no WinLink uh, application yet. I don't know if one is being uh, developed right now, I have to look into it. But it would be great if the uh, Winlink people would uh, make an application for Android because, uh, of course, it's much easier to carry a tablet than a laptop, and it's much easier to recharge a tablet with a small uh, solo panel, USB solo panel, than it is to recharge a laptop that usually requires about 20 volts to, uh, to, to, to charge. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, different modes, uh, things like, uh, you know, of course, Winlink to send email, uh, and then uh, probably uh, we'll try PSK, PSK31 and maybe uh, FSQ, which I haven't tried yet. Um, I don't really need those modes because, of course, they are kind of chat modes and uh, 
I use uh, Morse code, so I don't really need those uh, digital modes. But for, for email, uh, I think my uh, main use of uh, digital modes uh, for prepping is going to be for email. Being able to send an email outside of your uh, disaster area can be a, can be a lifesaver, definitely. Um, so uh, let's plug everything in and uh, put up an antenna and uh, give it a try. I'm using the uh, hybrid micro with the whip today. So it's a short antenna, it's a compromise antenna. Uh, it's a good one, but it of course won't be as efficient as a half wave and fed. I'm using uh, RG316, which supposedly is uh, stronger than RG174, but not as flexible. So here's the uh, whole station. Uh, we have the KX2 right here. Three 18650 cells to power it up. The Mini Pro SC interface. My laptop running Windows. And I have to say, I hate Windows. <laughs> I usually use uh, Linux for work. And uh, if it wasn't for a few uh, amateur radio software, I would not have Windows on my computer. But that said, Winlink. Uh, runs on Windows only so and here we have the Elocraft T1 tuner so uh, let's start the program and see if we can make a contact uh, actually send an email okay so the first thing to do is to make sure that all the uh, database with the uh, RMS stations that I have is up to date so I started the uh, WinLink Express program. I'm now going to select here a Winmore WinLink session and I click on Open Session. Okay, so I'm going to go now to Channel Selection and click on Update Table via Internet. So now it will download the uh, new uh, station database. By the way, when you install the WinLink Express program, don't forget to install the VOCAP program, which is a propagation prediction program. That will tell you which station is most likely to uh, have a good connection uh, to you. Now all the stations have been updated. And it looks like my best bet will be on 40 meter or 10 or 20. But because I have a short antenna, uh, I'll probably try on 20 or 10 meter. From the uh, session window, you have to be, go into uh, setup, Winmore TNC setup, and make sure that you have your uh, Mini Pro SC or other interface selected here and I'm not sure which one it is <laughs> USB audio that must be it okay and we have a playback device I'm going to select the USB audio speaker as well hopefully that's it other than that uh, yeah, make sure you have your uh, call sign set up as well. Uh, radio setup, I don't think I have to do anything in here. Manual, yes. Uh, USB, yes. Uh, okay, so everything is fine here. Transmit level test. Hmm. Not sure about that. Oh, yep, yeah, it's uh, well, the light turned uh, red. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna click on open session again and I'll turn on the radio. I uh, plugged in a new station IW2EKO on 
Python 135.5. Let's try. Oh, I know it's not busy, so let's go ahead. And it's transmitting. I'll adjust the level so that... Let's see if we can go... It says 5 watts. Uh, it might be too much, though. I'll lower it to 20. Connected, okay, success. I wish I could hear the uh, the sound just to see the quality of the transmission, but maybe, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, we can see here. All right, so it is uh, working. Have a look at my, uh, the temperature of the final transistor. 27 degrees, that's good. Well, we're not getting the sound, sorry guys. <laughs> but it is uh, connecting and it is doing something, so it definitely is communicating with the station. And using 5 watts on that small antenna is just, uh, just amazing. So then I'll just check my email and see if uh, it went through. But apparently, no problem. I need to get some feedback for the sound, um, that would be good. I, I know I can set that up on the KX2, but um, I have to look it up. We'll wait that the uh, session is finished, uh, and we'll see if I got the message. One mode that uh, is pretty useful for prepping uh, for people who don't know Morse code is uh, PSK31. And here on, uh, I left Windows, <laughs> uh, I'm on Linux now, and uh, I have FLDG running with a bunch of uh, PSK31 conversations going on. I can actually transmit as well, I will demonstrate that now. Yeah, go into an unoccupied uh, space here and I'm going to send a CQ and there we go. You see the light turn red on the Mini Pro SC and on the KX2, so it's transmitting. Here we get to the end of the call and we get back to receive mode. Here I'm going to try to contact this guy calling right now, UT5XR. There we go, I'm replying. And we'll see if it works. I think I might be a little bit off, I'm not sure. F4WBY, yes, uh, he hears me. We have a contact. Okay, great. RST759, uh, he's, uh, I guess he's 5'5. Five five. Okay, so I put my information there and I'm going to transmit it, if I <laughs> can find how to do it. Transmit. Okay, go. All right. First contact here with the KX2 on uh, PSK31. Here I want to show you a great tool to see how your antenna is performing and what the propagation is doing. 
this is whisper WSPR and it's actually getting ready to transmit you can see the green uh, light just turned red same on the KX2 so now the program is transmitting any station receiving my uh, spots uh, they are called uh, will uh, upload them to the internet so uh, the same way when the software goes back into receiving any spot I receive my laptop will upload to the internet and the only thing you have to do is to go to the map on whispernet.org wsprnet.org and put your call sign in and the band and update the map now it's on 15 meter I'm transmitting on 21094.6 but the band is not quite open so um, I only got a couple reports well I had two before but I guess there's only one left now it's still transmitting so we'll see if I get any more spots I'll show you the uh, screenshot for the 20 meter test I did earlier and I got a lot of reports uh, even in the uh, United States so from the north of France it's pretty good but uh, this tool this program can give you a very good idea of uh, how your antenna is radiating and that's very important especially if you're trying to cover the regional range uh, up to maybe a thousand kilometers with a horizontal antenna where your signal is beamed straight up and rains all around you basically now it should uh, stop uh, transmitting pretty soon probably and go back into receive mode and there we go so that's it for uh, whisper uh, excellent tool to evaluate your antenna and uh, maybe just check the uh, propagation so we like gear we like complicated stuff we like to experiment and I know that uh, digital modes can be uh, very useful in some situations and they have proven that. I still think though that it's too complicated. You know, I can replace that laptop uh, with a nice Morse key. It's never going to fail. It doesn't need batteries. Um, again, the software is up here. So unless I have some problems, uh, it's always going to work. Uh, so for me yeah it's you know i'm going to use them but i'm not going to rely on those modes and on having a computer when i need one so that's really uh, my opinion and i'll stick to it um, it's a lot of fun uh, it's very useful it, it, it could save your life but um, for me it's a bit uh, it's a bit of a risk uh, because it's of the complexity uh, and the need for a computer and that's all I have to say about it so thank you very much for your time and uh, have a good one